From UFOs to ghost and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. From the 1960s to the mid-90s, the US government spent millions of dollars training psychic soldiers. In a series of secret programs, these psychics tried to become the world's most dangerous spies. At the height of the Cold War, US analysts learned the Soviets were interested in psychokinesis, telepathy, and remote viewing. The US set up its own research programs built on earlier work from the Stanford Research Institute. Several agencies and universities conducted these operations, including the Department of Defense and Duke University. In 1995, the CIA abruptly terminated the project. They said it didn't work. So why spend 20 years on it? Why did the CIA take over the project and close it? What exactly were these people doing? Here's where it gets crazy. It did work, or at least some important people thought it did. They were willing to try almost anything. In Virginia, the spies kept a herd of de-bleated goats. When the would-be psychics weren't trying to walk through walls, they tried to kill goats with their minds. The operatives were trained to acquire Jedi-like superpowers, the ability to kill with the thought, read minds, and predict the future. Reports on their success vary. The statements of veterans and the official records do not match. According to the official records, the programs focused on remote viewing, an exercise where a psychic focuses on coordinates or a photograph and concentrates on perceiving details of the target. The results were surprising. Analysts found the program to be accurate between 20 to 35 percent of the time. This result is higher than what would be expected by chance. The psychic soldiers allegedly located kidnapped U.S. officers, Soviet submarines, and a double agent. This success was common knowledge in Washington. Even President Carter recalls the time psychics located a plane crash in Zambia. Ex-KGB agents have said psychic programs may have prevented World War III, but it's easy to take credit for something not happening. Considering the low overhead, the results were impressive, so why was it closed down? The official story is that Congress and the CIA didn't feel the results justified the cost involved. To some, that doesn't make sense. The annual U.S. defense budget is the largest in the world, more than five times the size of its nearest competitor. Several million dollars are insignificant in this context. Here's the strange part. Congress only investigated after a televised expose. The CIA only took over once the public caught wind. No one knows the extent of the program. All we know for sure is that the program disappeared once it was made public. Or did it? Rumors persist. Some people believe the program went underground to avoid the scrutiny of public operations. Without congressional oversight, black bag programs have no legal constraints. And sources insist the CIA still uses lessons learned during the Cold War. They have allegedly deployed psychics in Iraq, North Korea, and the search for Saddam Hussein. Foreign intelligence agencies simply cannot explain how the CIA knows what it knows. So, what really happened? Is Project Stargate another dusty relic of the Cold War? Or does it live on under a new name, hidden from the worried eyes of the public? Is it something they don't want you to know?